teacher tribe welcome back to a brand new week and a brand new year today is tuesday january 3rd and it is past dismissal time <sighs> remember to take a break so i came back to work yesterday on january 2nd and it was a teacher work day and literally it was a jam-packed day i literally had no time to eat um meeting after meeting finalizing report cards today is the first day of quarter three and drum roll i got a new friend i told you all last year the last video that i had a new friend coming and today was her first day she's here she's super cute um but she's a little low on the spectrum not too low but she's down there so i don't fully know her full potential as of yet um, given that it's the first day back and this week is more of finalizing or finishing what we started before the break, Monday is when I can really, you know, find out what she knows. Monday we're starting unit five and we're also starting a new topic in math, which is money and time. So I'm excited about that for next week. Um, so yeah, I'm at 21. I had two friends out who are two kids who are out a lot. Um, don't know their status haven't heard from mom or dad but our new friend seems she's very friendly um she did she wasn't you know shy because it was her first day she's a, coming from a school in our state so that was good we just have to wait for her to i guess get registered in our county so once the district has her full information she should be able to be in like i already in the testing website and all that good stuff as of tomorrow well by the end of the week i was able to get her into the computer so her 562 number, which is her student number for, I believe, in the state of Florida, I believe, don't quote me on that. I don't know if that's the Florida number or if it's her, um, her district number. Either way, that number is active. I was able to sign her into the computer. Her name popped up all as well. But I couldn't get her into Clever. And because she's not in Clever, that means she's not in iReady and everything else. So just got to keep checking. Maybe by tomorrow, it'll, everything will work itself out. Um, what else do I have to tell you? I'm just so happy to be back and recording for you guys that it's like I've missed it over these past two weeks. Um, I showed you the data folders. So I showed you these data folders that um, we're going to be doing. I'm actually trying to figure out how I'm going to do them. So I glued the cover page to the page. And even though I test them on this, um, our principal wants the kids to be aware of where they are. So what I'm thinking of doing is... But what I'm thinking, because of the fact that I've already tested them for units one through four already, I was thinking of giving everyone their folder, and but then I'd have to literally pull out their... So this is the packet where I have to keep track of all of their data. So they do their high frequency words checks, their fluency checks, all of those checks in here. So I have this with all of their sight words, which is their high frequency words, here. And you see how I kind of checked off the words that he said and the words that he got wrong. So I would literally have to go through each student and tell them which word they got right and wrong. And if they got it right, I was going to have them shade in a star for the word that they got right. And if they get it wrong, they don't shade it. So that's what I'm thinking. I don't fully know. They didn't really tell us how they wanted us to keep track of the data or how they wanted the students to keep track of the data. Then it goes on to their data. So for their unit test, um, you know, one through 10, which there's more than that, but it's really one through 10. And then I, it's, I'm supposed to tell them what they got on it. If they got a one, which is anywhere between 59 and under, long story short, an F, they would like fill it in, like make bar models. So unit one, F or, or one, unit two, two, which is a D, so between 60 and 69, which is yellow. So they color it to there. Or if they got proficient, which is a three, which is 70 and up, would be green. And then they would color in all the way there. So that I know is a coloring thing because it literally tells them what color to color it. But uh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to work it out. And then the, here's the district test. At least that's already labeled. So these are the district tests for math. Same concept, but for math. And then they have a goal setting sheet for the goals that they want to accomplish. And then here's their goal setting sheet for reading. 
So I like the idea of it. It's just, when are we gonna have time to do this? Because I barely have time as it is. And then the last page is for them to um, keep track of their fluency for math on you know, whatever they can memorize and so on and so forth. So I have these for each student, including my new friend, because I had one extra for like my purposes of, you know, being able to see what they have, an empty one. Since I got her filled in um, her name and there are my 21 folders. They're literally just sitting there. I don't know what to do with them yet. Okay, so today was unit four, week three, day four. Okay, so today we didn't even do much really because it was more of playing catch up because remember that last week of school, not much was done. So we tried to catch up on our blueprint. We caught up on getting everything ready for our culminating task. We reread the stories to make it fresh in our mind and then we were good to go. So once that was done, we finished the blueprint. So tomorrow now will be our last day of the unit. Normally the last day is when we test them, but because the unit tests are so rigorous in this district we test them they'll probably get the unit test on friday so tomorrow is the last day of the unit and then thursday will be more of a catch-up day or they can finish whatever they need to finish and then friday is the actual test so they'll start tomorrow they'll do the poem which is always for a grade because we need three poem grades in the quarter and we only teach them poems at the end of every unit so tomorrow's their poem so we do the poem grade tomorrow i already kind of prepped them for it today because we teach them the same things in poems in poetry so they have to identify the rhyme scheme in a stanza they have to um i think that's it <laughs> at, for this one at least normally they have to identify the rhyme scheme and the rhyming words but i think the one they're doing tomorrow they just have to identify the rhyme scheme and there's four stanzas in this poem so that shouldn't be too difficult for them hopefully so they do that i grade it and then they'll start working on their culminating task like the flags that they did here, this was unit three's culminating task. Unit four's culminating task, they have to make a sign. Here they had to make make a flag that represented their government symbols. Yeah, government symbols. I don't know what sign they're making for tomorrow, so we'll figure that out tomorrow. And then we're wrapping up our unit on fractions, which they're doing pretty good on. And I'm actually going to give them a Kahoot. I made a Kahoot when we first started I start, first started teaching them fractions and we redid the Kahoot today so they can kind of refresh their memory on it. And I'm gonna give them my, the same Kahoot on either Thursday or Friday. And I'm gonna take it for a grade. The only reason I didn't take today's as a grade is because our new friend is here and I wanted to see how much she knew. So Friday, Thursday or Friday, or maybe whenever I have all 21 kids here, <laughs> I'll just have them do the Kahoot and I'll take that as a grade, so. I'm making plans. Things are coming together. It, they, we're off to a good start for the new year. So that's that, Teacher Tribe. I'll see you tomorrow for Wednesday hump day. Bye, Teacher Tribe. Hi, Teacher Tribe. Happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, January 4th, and it is past dismissal time. <sighs> Remember to take a breath. So today was another good day. Um, I had three out, same two from yesterday, and the other one is my repeat offender girl. She was here yesterday, I give her that, she was here yesterday, but she's not here today. So, I don't know, and these are three low kids who keep missing school. So, I, I don't know. I've spoken to the parent of our friend who was here yesterday and not here today I've spoken to mom and told her like her attendance is a big thing and mom's like yeah she had a lot of excuses the other two one of them the school doesn't even have an active number for her parents I have them on class dojo and they don't see my message unless I tell her hey I sent your parents a message about this you need to let them see it because I need them to respond that's the only way I hear from them we don't have an active number and then our other friend, dad, a lot of times he misses school because he just doesn't get on the bus or he'll miss the bus and then they just won't bring him to school. So they're in for it when they see that report card because I did not hold back on my comments because they're at risk for retention now. Like you're not doing them any justice by having them not come to school. 
I can only do so much. If they're not here, I can't help them. Anyhow. So yeah, I had three out. So I had 19, 18. I had 18 today. I had 19 yesterday. Um, today for our first convention screen, we did a worksheet on pronouns and interjections. So pronouns, they had to recreate or change what was underlined with a pronoun and they gave them a list of different pronouns here. So the answer is in the box. And then on this side, interjections, again, the answer is in the box. So I'll, after I read it to them, I <coughs> cough, 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 hint, hint, reread the box. <laughs> so I pointed that out to them. I haven't even looked at it to grade it, but they turned them in. I probably won't touch it until our friends come back so I can just grade everything one time. So there was that. We did the poetry today because today was the last day for the unit. And they didn't do bad. I had a few threes, but then I had majority of the class got twos. Again, not terrible. And then I only had one friend who had a one because she just flat out did not listen to anything that I said. Mind you, this is not the first time I've taught this skill for po po for um, for poetry. So we read the, the poem together. We identified that there are four stanzas. We identified the rhyming words. So if you know that this word and this word rhymes, that means those lines are going to be the same letter. So we identified and we talked about the different rhyme schemes that there are. A, B, A, B, A, A, B, B, A, B, C, B, which is the rhyme scheme that was for each stanza. So they had to, in each stanza, write A, B, C, B, A, B, C, B for the whole thing because that's how they rhymed. So the A, A and C lines don't rhyme, but the two B lines rhyme with each other. So they had to identify that. And I think three people got all four. And there was another one that got three out of the four. So she still got a three because three out of the four is 75. So that's still passing. Technically two is a 50, but I gave the people who got twos a two. And then if they got one, I gave them a one. So majority of my class got twos. So, which is technically, like I said, supposed to be failing because that's supposed to be, that's technically 50%. But I gave them twos because they understood. They just weren't identifying the right rhyme pattern. So they kind of understood. Anywho, I gave them twos. So that wasn't terrible, but we still have work to do. And again, this was not the first time we've taught this skill, but we can't spend much time on it because we only teach the skill once every unit. So... Uh, anywho, so that was that. So I took that for a grade and I took the pronouns and interjections for a grade. So those are the first two grades of the quarter. What else do I have to tell you? For math today, we did pick a project at the end of every unit. They give us options in terms of what project we're going to have them do. So as a team, we decided to do project 8A. So it's called Spread the News. So I gave them a little backstory on news. So first there was newspapers, then there was TV and radio broadcasts, and then now technology has improvised or improved. So there's computers and there's phones. And then down here is their instructions. So they're supposed to create a class bulletin board. So I pointed out our class bulletin board, which is this pink one right here with the four posters on it. So that was pointed out to them and I pointed out that, oh, there are three posters on that bulletin board. When there's three things, that is called what? And then they identified that it's thirds. So I'm like, all right, great. So now what you're going to do is you're going to create your own bulletin board. So here's the example uh, right here. So they have a bulletin board divided into thirds. And then on it, it says class schedule is one third. Homework assignment is one third. And student of the week is one third. So I gave them all a sheet of paper and they had it side this way. And I said, now you're going to fold your paper into however many sections you want, whether it be halves, thirds, or fourths. And then, of course, I folded most of them. They came up to me and told me how many they wanted to do, and I folded it for them. So I said, now, use the classroom and pretend I am new and I don't know how we run things in this classroom. Tell me about it. So a lot of them used the class schedule idea. So they went with the, the clipboard that we have there and sat in front of our school our schedule and wrote down our schedule. Some of them did our class jobs. Some of them did our hand signals. Some did our clip charts, depending on if they had thirds, fourths, whatever. 
Some people decided to do be more creative and come up with the class roster. So they know each other's numbers. So they wrote down each other's names going down in the in number order. I thought that was awesome. Some others did. Someone suggested something else that I didn't even think of. So in the morning during our morning meetup or circle up, we have a PowerPoint presentation that is district mandated that we go through. And I think somebody mentioned that. So we they they gave the routine on how we do it. We get in a circle, then we do our greeting. That like they they wrote down step by step how we do our our morning meeting. So that was creative too. I I gave them applause for that. I think that was it. So they had to pick either two, three, or four of all those things that we talked about as a class. And then at the end, when they're done writing it down, which I don't think a lot of them finished, they were able to decorate their bulletin board. So a lot of them did borders, the same way I have borders around my bulletin board. They did colors around their paper. So they got creative with it. Another thing that we did today, we didn't turn it in. But they did their culminating task for unit four. So this was culminating task for unit three. Today they started the culminating task for unit four. Um, I have it due tomorrow. So tomorrow everyone will turn in the rest of their posters. A few of them turned it in already. But I'll have everyone turn it in tomorrow. They will present it to the class and then I'll enter it for a grade. After everyone's is graded, it will go up on our wall. So you won't see our ugly flags anymore. <laughs> You'll see their posters, which a lot of them have come out pretty good. Um, this poster, they had to come up with a title. Um, this unit, we talked about stories that have a lesson to it. So they had to pick the lesson that was most important to them and then explain why. And then in the middle of the poster, they had to draw pictures related to that lesson. So they could use the pictures in the stories to help them and then write the lesson, which we already identified in our blueprint. So they're literally copying one of the four lessons that we learned in the unit, wrote it down and told me why they picked it. Eat very easy. <laughs> so you can't mess that up. So when everyone's finished, it will it should look very presentable on the board, on our wall. So that was it. We got a lot of things done today. A lot of things were not finished. Our new friend is getting this getting in the swing of things. She already memorized her password for the computer, so that is awesome. So we're doing pretty good. Like I haven't had any behavior issues. Nobody has clipped down these last two days. So ah, this is what I like for a good welcome back week. The kids are behaving. All right, Teacher Tribe, until tomorrow. Bye guys. Hello, Teacher Tribe. Happy Friday Eve. Today is Thursday, January 5th, and it is just past dismissal time. Remember to take a breath. So, I'm a little hot. Dismissal literally just finished. <laughs> so, I'm recording fresh off dismissal. I'm not doing anything. I'm really about to go. But today was a pretty decent day. Um, I only had, I can't even say only, one of the two that's been out all week returned. I still have my boy has not returned. And then I had two others that were here yesterday weren't here today. So, I had three out. Um... It was a decent day, but it was very light because today was like our extra day. This was our catch up day for reading, um, a review for our math, because tomorrow's a pretty heavy day because we have test after test after test tomorrow. So tomorrow they're gonna do their Kahoot for vocabulary that was supposed to be today, but I didn't finish my vocab Kahoot. So yeah, they're gonna get it tomorrow. I'm gonna have them do the Kahoot right before they do their unit test which is obviously done independently. So we'll start with our Kahoot, go into our unit test, and then I'll have them kind of tr transition into iReady. Then for math, um, math is the topic test. So they're not on the computer. So it's paper-based. So I have it, nope, Friday right here. I have it in that container there. So they will do that during math time. Normal MTSS is pretty much a regular day, but during each subject, it's a test. So... But on the plus side, right after all the tests are done, I'm just gonna give them the remainder of the day for Fun Friday. So right after math, Fun Friday. So let them have the rest of the day if their mouths are, are on point because today it wasn't. I had a training on the new math standard about an hour and a half long. So from right after MTSS, the sub came in and covered my class right up until dismissal. So 
while I was away in that training, I came back and then um, I have an aide that comes in from one of my students and she saw me after school during dismissal. And she was like, look, that sub, your class was the worst I've ever seen. And I know they don't act like that with you. So I was like, mm, these kids were definitely out of pocket because they know better. So I saw the sub, she was young. She seemed to be a little like, let's party type of sub. And I'm assuming that's what happened when that aide came in to help one of my friends. But I can't really say anything because they did the work. <laughs> so the work that they did was collected and is right here. And then I heard that they did already. So while she's telling me what they did do, they did what they were supposed to do. So I can't really. <sighs> it's the end of the day. They had a sub. I'm not going to like hold it against them. But for the most part, today was a very easy day. Tomorrow is another story. But I am going to rush out of here, Teacher Tribe. So I will see you all tomorrow for Friday, the first Friday of the year. <laughs> all right. Bye, Teacher Tribe. Hi, Teacher Tribe. Happy Friday. Today is Friday, January 6th, and it is past dismissal time. <sighs> Remember to take a breath. So, nothing new happened today, but it was jam-packed with tests. So, I finished my Kahoot for their vocab, and that was the first thing we did this morning. So, they did their Kahoots for Unit 4 Vocabulary. And when they were done with Unit 4 Vocabulary, um, I just had them transition over to their test. So, once the Kahoot was done, I pulled the report, entered the grades, bam. Had them transition into performance matters they did their unit test when they, that was done they shut down and did this little 2023 project that i think my team lead found so it's new year's resolution so here they would write their new year's resolution so they had to cut it out um a goal i have i will try hard harder i will try harder to a book i want to read and I want to learn. So they will fill that out. Then, see I already cut it. I may have to make a template because of these kids. They would add glue all here, glue it to the back of this, and then it would look like this, and then they can flip it and see what their, you know, what each thing is. And then of course, when they're done, they get to color, decorate, their name and numbers went on the back, and then they went here. You would think that's a very simple explanation. Now let me show you what was turned in. A lot of them fixed their mistake, but a lot of people were cutting the numbers off, as you can see, even though he tried to fix it. Some of them didn't cut all the way up like my instructions were. This didn't. This one didn't glue it on correctly, but it's, it's done. Here's another. All right. This friend cut the whole thing off the title. So she had to glue it on on top. So when you flip it now, you can't even see what her question is because she had to glue it back on. But it's together. This one did not cut like I said to cut. I was, you're supposed to cut the bottom off. I told them to cut along dotted lines. Didn't do that for this one. <sighs> See, this friend wrote her name in pen on the front. And because she was in such a rush, look how she colored her bears. <sighs> Lordy. And she also did not cut the dotted line like I said to do. But she was in such a rush to get on the computer for Fun Friday. This one, she did okay. Not the, the best cutting, but she put it together correctly. This one isn't bad. Oh, Lordy. This one's pretty good. This one cut the number off completely, so he had to glue it back on. He also cut off the strip. Where's my paper? 
He also cut off the strip where you're supposed to add the glue. He cut this strip off. So his thing, I don't know how he has it glued right now. Uh, these are my kids, guys. These are my kids. This one is not glued down. I'm gonna have to glue this one down. All, all of this is because they were rushing to go on the computer for Fun Friday. Because this was the last thing they did after their, their test. They started it after their reading test this morning. Then I had them put it away when it was time to go to resource. So after their math test in the afternoon, I told them to take it out and continue working on it so they can finish it to turn it in. This friend, this is my golden child. He did pretty good. There's always one that you're just proud to have in your class. Always one. This is my creative boy. He did pretty good too. See what I mean when I say creative? <laughs> this one's pretty good so those are the ones who actually finished because I think there's about two or three kids who were haven't been here this week so they were making up on other assignments so that is there ready to go up on the bulletin board the second grade bulletin board in the hallway to have a few from my class a few from all the other classes plastered up there this is the second um, writing assignment that we gave them where I just asked them for five complete sentences on things that they want to do or accomplish this year. Not doesn't have to be education related. It could be just anything during the year of 2023. Then I, had, I let them color it and then they had to turn it into the green bin so I can use it for a writing grade. So what I was thinking of doing is having them present it sometime next week. So it's communication, written and oral. So that was the fun thing we got to do in between all of our tests this um, today. And that was it. That was mainly all that we did because we don't normally do content on Fridays so they can use that time for Fun Friday. So I'm gonna say that was math, reading, writing. I had them finishing up their culminating task because we start the new unit on Monday. So I want to say that was it. For resource today, we had music. Yeah, it was a pretty easy day. Well, it was light because of the fact that they took tests all day. So I don't really have anything to report to you guys. So that is it, friends. Teacher tribe. That's, yeah, that's all I have for you today. All right, guys, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you like all the videos that I'm, show that I'm showing you, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I know I keep forgetting to say that, so please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below if there's anything specific you want me to talk or show you that I do in my classroom. And until next week, I'll see you all. Bye, Teacher Tribe.